Greetings from my clinic. Today's topic is going to be on corneal transplantation or corneal grafting. The cornea is a clear window to the infrared that leads into the eye. It appears dark or black in most of us Indian because we have a dark iris, which is dark brown in color. So the color of the iris is what we see through. It is a convex, clear dome that is present in front of the eye. This is what the clarity of the structure cornea is what allows light rays to pass into the eye through the pupil, through the lens and get focused on the retina. The cornea not only allows the light ray to pass through, it also focuses the light rays. 70% of the focusing of the human eye is taken care of by the cornea, the remaining 30% taken by the lens inside the eye. When somebody has a corneal infection or an injury or corneal degeneration or corneal dystrophy, this can lead to opacification of the cornea. Opacification of the lens inside the eye is cataract, which is treated by cataract surgery. Opacification of the cornea is called corneal opacification and this can lead to profound reduction in vision because the clarity of the cornea is paramount importance for clarity of vision. If this were to occur and the scar is permanent, then we go in for what is known as a corneal transplant where we take a donor cornea from a person who has passed away and this cornea is transplanted in a person who has got a scar cornea. Now who can donate first? How do we donate? Now there is surgery. Basically, any person who has passed away can be a corneal donor. Only people who have passed away by certain diseases like hepatitis or jaundice or rabies or HIV are not eligible to donate the cornea. Anybody else who has passed away by old age or any other disorder is an eligible corneal donor. One easy part about corneal donation is that the tissue can be taken up to six hours after death. So if somebody passes away at home or in the hospital and the family feels it, that they would like to donate the cornea, they just have to get in touch with the doctor in that hospital or the local eye bank and the person would come over from there and harvest the corneal tissue. Common misconceptions are when the tissue is taken out, would there be disfigurement in the face of the person who passed away? No, absolutely not. When the corneal tissue is removed, a shell is placed inside the eye and the lids are closed and one cannot make out any disfigurement after the tissue is removed. Now what happens if tissue is removed? It can be stored and used comfortably up to even 14 days depending upon the storage needs of the So it can be transported across the country or even across the country to a person who needs the cornea. And earlier, one cornea would only serve one patient. That means the whole corneal button would be taken and transplanted onto one patient. Today, technology has improved and corneal transplantation has gone to a level where theoretically one cornea can serve up to two or even three persons. The tissue that is in the patient which is deceased, either the outer surface of the cornea or the inner surface of the cornea, alone can be replaced. We need not replace the whole cornea unless it's totally necessary. So one cornea can serve minimum two persons. So that really helps bring down corneal blindness. So please remember, Corneal donation is very, very useful. It can give potentially vision to each cornea, can potentially give vision to two persons. Results of corneal transplants are brilliantly good, primarily because this is the most commonly done transplantation in the world. It's also the most successful transplantation in the world. Corneal tissue does not have any blood vessels, and so the chances of rejection are very low. So it can theoretically occur, it does occur in a very rare condition. Rejections in corneal tissue are very rare because the cornea does not have blood vessels. So rejection process is very, very rare. But it can occur theoretically in rare cases. So the idea to understand corneal disorders which have got corneal scarring are eminently treatable by corneal transplantation. We have got doctors who are trained to do it. What we need is more donor tissue to be available. So keep this in mind. Whenever a person passes away, the biggest donation that person can make is to donate the cornea where it can give vision to four other people. If you have any doubts, write to us in our inbox and we'll get back to you.